Hey everybody, Austin here again with another Let's Play video, and today it's going to be Darkwing Duck for the NES. Uh, this is a game I actually did a Let's Play of many years ago, and uh, there was one uh, key element I actually did not know of in that Let's Play uh, until just this past week when I was playing it again for an updated playthrough, and that is bonus stages! I completely missed all of the bonus stages uh, in my original recording of this game. And you know what's funny about that is I owned this game as a kid, I played it a lot as a kid, had no idea there were bonus stages in it until 2020 as of doing this updated recording. So, Darkwing Duck, yeah, it has bonus stages. I'm gonna show off some of them as we play through this game again. And uh, yeah, for those of you guys that haven't played this, this is a uh, Capcom Disney title uh, based on the cartoon of the uh, same name. It used to come on in afternoons in North America. I actually used to watch this a lot as a kid. And I uh, really enjoyed that show back then. And again, I got the game as a kid as well. Um, it was a surprise gift from my parents. I think one birthday or Christmas. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It's a lot like a Mega Man game. Uh, you, it's basically a run gunner uh, with, with platforming. Uh, although this game is a lot more stiff than Mega Man. So if you're used to Mega Man, if you've never played this before and you decide to try it, uh, it will take you a little while to get used to it because when Darkwing jumps and he lands, he always stops for like a couple of frames. Uh, whenever he shoots or he uses his cape and then, you know, undoes his cape, there's always delay. Um, and you can't mash the fire button as quickly as you can in a Mega Man game and have all the hits actually connect. Uh, enemies have a lot of invincibility frames on this, so if you mash the fire button, and half your shots are just going to go through them, and uh, so you really want to taper your shots and time them. Whereas in a lot of Mega Man games, you can just mash the fire button uh, really quickly, depending. There are some parts where, say, bosses have iframes as well, and mashing doesn't do you very much good. But um, yeah, a lot of similarities to Mega Man. Um, it's not a very long game, it's only got seven stages, uh, so this playthrough is probably going to be about 30 minutes long. Uh, I don't see it uh, taking very long to go through. But yeah, uh, on this updated playthrough of this game, we're going to go through the game, hopefully have a fairly smooth run. I'm going to show where some of the bonus stage locations are and try to show off the two different types of bonus stages that there are in the game. Um, I'm not going to access all the bonus stages. I, my main goal is to show you where they, are, where some of them are and uh, what the two different types of bonus stages are. So when you play this on your own, uh, you can experiment around and try to find the bonus stages uh, uh, yourself for the most part. Um, uh, but yeah, so with that guys, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So we're gonna go ahead and just hit the start button, and uh, there's a little bit of story here, not a whole lot, uh, so... Um, yeah, uh, unlike Mega Man, uh, your stages are actually gated off, so we only have access to the first three stages. But like a Mega Man, you can pick uh, which one you want to go to in any order. I want to go to this first stage here, we're just gonna go from left to right, pretty much on uh, both tiers of levels that we have access to. And you just press A to access it. Uh, after you beat the level, it'll say OK on that little uh, speech bubble there, and uh, you won't be able to go back into the level. Um, so yeah, so again, Darkwing Duck, uh, you know, you basically run, you jump, you shoot, and uh, you can actually hold up to use your cape, just like so. You can actually use it in the air as well. Um, Darkwing can actually grab onto objects, he'll actually uh, do it automatically as long as you reach the objects uh, appropriately. And uh, so I'm actually just holding nothing there to grab onto that switch, which uh, lets that block fall down. And um, if you press select, you can actually access your special weapon, which in this case is uh, Thunder Gas. And you can see it's this electrical shot that shoots in, uh, you know, upwards and downwards. And this is our first bonus stage. All you have to do is just shoot where the bonus stage is, and it will appear, and then you can access it. And then play a quick bonus round. So this is our, our the main kind of bonus stage we're going to see more often over the course of the play. Through. Uh, it's basically on top of this uh, set of buildings, and uh, these capsules fall down, and you just shoot them wide open, just like so, and uh, you can pick up uh, power ups and whatnot. So, you do get points in this game. Uh, every X amount of points will give you extra lives. Uh, so, if you're really struggling with this game, it's good to try to pick up all the uh, point icons that you can. Uh, the little G canisters stand for gas, and uh, those replenish your gas energy. So, I have 37 gas energy right now. And uh, that's for, again, my uh, my special weapon. So there are three special weapons in this game that you can use. Again, we've already got Thunder Gas. Um, and there's also uh, H. Uh, I completely forgot what it stands for, uh, but I believe we get it near the end of this level. So I will actually uh, hit start to figure out what it means. Um, then there's Arrow Gas, which is actually the best one in the game. It's an extremely powerful arrow shot, a lot like the Super Arrow in Mega Man 5. And... Um, 
it has similar properties to the uh, the Super Arrow in Mega Man 5, where you can actually shoot it against a wall and then uh, use it as a platform. There are going to be some uh, extra lives and things like that, special power-ups we can get by using that uh, ability. Um, the H gas is actually uh, fairly powerful as well, but uh, it's really only good against ground-based enemies. Whereas Thunder Gas, you can also use in the air, just like so. Wow, all the way back here. We did not hit a checkpoint yet. That is actually pretty sorry. Good job, Austin. Good job. You are a winner. Um, so, okay, we get to go through this all over again. Um, so, speaking of which, checkpoints are kind of few and far between, but generally the game itself isn't too challenging to get through, uh, so you shouldn't really run into the issue of having to, you know, get sent all the way back to checkpoints, uh, when you die. So, uh, or getting sent far back when you die, I should say. Uh, bonus stages, uh, when you come out of a bonus stage, one of the downsides to it is it does actually send you back to your previous checkpoint. Uh, so my previous checkpoint at this moment in time is the very first level in the game and uh, oh, not the very first level in the game the very first uh, section of the first level in the game we haven't actually hit a uh, real checkpoint yet I'm gonna come down here and uh, get that uh, item nothing special you can just grab onto these again you just don't do anything Darkwing just automatically attaches now you do have to make sure you jump just right or you land on it just right so right in the middle is uh, is what does it and then same with these, you just let Darkwing Duck uh, latch onto them automatically. And this should be our checkpoint right here, so, yeah, so. But alright, uh, yeah, this is gonna be our H gas up here, and I'll be able to show you what it does, so let's go ahead and identify it. Heavy gas is what it stands for. So I'm just gonna sit up here and then drop my heavy gas down like this. So these guys can block your shots just like Darkwing can. And uh, so you do have to watch out for them. You can also block their shots too. So what I like to do sometimes is, uh, you know, block their shots first and then attack if I'm using my regular gun. So kind of like this. If you're close to them, you can actually get, you can block and then get two shots off. Uh, Darkwing Duck, if you haven't noticed yet, is actually a, a very rhythmic kind of game. Um, you really need to... Uh, uh, sort of take your time in this game, so you've got a lot of enemies that can can block your shots And uh, so you just want to wait for them to fire and then jump and attack Just wait and then jump and attack There we go just like that and then uh, we can come on up here get some health You can actually jump over this guy without taking a hit if you're very careful about it All right, so first boss here when you hit it when you hit it uh, it has a tendency of uh, jumping up in the opposite direction or one of the opposite directions uh, so I like to just get it kind of close to this. Uh, on my first Let's Play, I used to play the uh, the long strategy where I would actually, uh, you know, stay on the other side of the screen completely and um, and just sort of uh, try to shoot as it goes up or down. Very much like, uh, I'm trying to think of other games where I, I do it like that. But, uh, so what I'm going to do, yeah, just like this, get close. I just stay close like this and I just keep doing it. Um, so yeah, you can actually stay on one side of the screen or the other, play the distance game, and just constantly move up and down, shooting your shots long range. And he'll eventually just jump up into your shots, but it takes a lot longer to, to do the boss fight that way. Now I could have used my heavy gas there if I really wanted to, um, and that would have actually worked out really well. I probably should have done that, because that boss actually runs along uh, one, of the, you know, one of the three platforms. Um, for a good bit of time before it jumps up or jumps down, and uh, so the heavy gas would have actually taken out the boss a lot faster. So, but I like to get up close, just, just shoot him once. Every time you hit him once, he jumps up or down, and uh, it's pretty easy. There's gonna be another bonus stage actually right up here above this uh, building, but you have to watch out for these guys on the ground. Uh, you have to wait for them to pop out before you can actually do damage, and there's the bonus stage. And it's probably gonna be the exact same one, yeah. Uh, again, you you find this bonus stage more often than not uh, compared to the other one. So I'm going to keep playing these bonus stages until we find the other one, and then I'm just going to start skipping the bonus stages completely. Um, basically to save time, because, uh, yeah, just to save a couple minutes of time. Now, if you really wanted to, you could actually just drop out like this. Uh, you don't lose a life for it, so you don't have to feel bad of you know for abandoning the bonus stage. And, uh, so yeah, you have to wait for these guys to pop out, they just take two shots, so you just kind of wait, and then go pop pop, just like that. And again, you don't really want to mash your fire button in this game, because enemies have a lot of invincibility frames, for the most part. And, uh, so if you're constantly mashing your button, so a good example is right here, I noticed that one of my shots went through that guy because I fired too quickly. And same right there, my second shot went through. 
Uh, so you do have to be, uh, you know, you, you have to be a little disciplined with your shots if you want to be effective with your firepower. So here's me mashing. Again, one of my shots went through. And uh, I'll try to, ex uh, you know, I'll try to explain it again on a, a larger enemy. Wow, that takes more hits. It's easier to explain when you have tankier enemies. I'm just gonna kind of skip these guys. And since I have arrow gas right now, I don't want to switch up because arrow gas is by far the best, uh, the best gas in the game. It is uh, super powerful, and then it also allows us to access, uh, you know, one ups and whatnot that are high up on the screen, um, which is uh, and a bonus stage actually. So here's a good example. Mashing, mashing, two of my shots went through. Mashing, mashing, two of my shots, one of my shots went through. So for these guys, what I like to do is instead of mashing, I go one, two, and then three. My third shot is as I go up, and I miss that third shot right there. So, but okay, we're gonna shoot an arrow right here. Ooh, didn't stick. Uh, I have to shoot it a little bit higher up for it to stick. So there we go, and it's not sticking very long. Yeah, sub sometimes your arrows just don't stick on uh, certain uh, surfaces. So I have to be a little, let's try to do it a little bit higher up, and now I can't hit it, okay. Uh, let's try this again, a little tricky, there we go. Alright, good deal. And uh, so there's our bonus stage right here, but this should be a checkpoint right there, so we shouldn't have to backtrack too much. And alright, here's our second bonus stage, so what you have to do here is actually use your cape in the air as you jump. And then uh, you have to have launch pad down there um, grab the items for you. Uh, which is actually a little bit tricky to get used to this bonus stage and actually picking up items appropriately uh, consistently. But it is fun. I actually like this bonus stage more because there's more skill involved to uh, take advantage of it. And there's a one up. And uh, just like the other bonus stage, if you, if you fall into a pit, uh, you actually won't die. You won't lose a life. You'll just exit the bonus stage. So, alright. So again, we're just going to go one, two, three, just like that. And then one, two, three. As you play the game more, you'll get used to the uh, the timing of your of the of the enemy's invincibility frames wearing out. So you can actually, you know, time your shots appropriately, be the most effective with your firepower in this game. So we're just going to jump on this. Uh, you don't really have to do this, but this just lets you kind of like skip over all the enemies here. So we're just going to take it nice and uh, easy breezy right here. Don't want that. That was uh, heavy gas again. And uh, we're going to use our uh, arrow gas right here. So for these guys, you want to hit them in the uh, in their little blinking uh, lights up on top of their heads. And there we go. So again, use the arrow gas. Uh, you can use the arrow gas to skip through uh, certain sections as well. And um, those guys, is um, these turtle guys, their hitboxes actually shrink down a little bit um, when they unleash their... Uh, their, their shell and this is an example where I can use my uh, my arrow gas again so what I like to do sometimes if I'm not really feeling like you know hitting them I, uh, I I'll basically let them um, you know throw their shell out and then I'll just jump over them and uh, so we're gonna use arrow gas on this boss and uh, what he likes to do is jump over and then he likes to throw these boxes at you uh, which can be a little tricky to avoid uh, so we're just gonna see if he throws a box first. He'll either throw a box first or he'll jump and then throw a box. Uh, one other thing you have to watch out for in this game, and I just did it at the very end of that boss fight there. You can like rewind to see it if you want. And um, I find that, so when you jump in the air, uh, to use your shield in the air, you actually have to hold up. But what I find in Darkwing Duck, and I don't really have this issue in other NES games, is that I find myself accidentally tapping up by accident. Just like moving, uh, like say right up to diagonally up and forward, which triggers the shield. Um, and I ended up doing the shield in the air. Now the problem with doing the shield in the air is you can't shoot when you do the shield in the air. You have to wait for the for you to land, then you can jump and shoot again. So you can't like jump, use the shield, and then let go of the shield, and then shoot. So you, you just can't do it. It's not possible. The game doesn't let you. So if you accidentally tap up in the air when you're trying to shoot, you actually end up just getting caught up in the air and you can't hit enemies uh, effectively like you want to. So it's it's a little frustrating. Uh, it's one of those things that takes a while to get used to in Darkwing Duck. So, um, But the more you play the game, the more you should get used to it. Um, I'm going to actually use my arrow, sh arrow gas right here. It's very powerful against these guys, so... Arrow gas is just very powerful in general, but usually I try to save my ammo for, you know, the tougher parts. You know, boss fights or, um... 
I want to save my arrows for sections like this, where, uh, you know, these are kind of secret areas that you don't have to go to, they're just optional areas. You gotta watch out for these guys in the ceilings, I just like to jump and attack them. Also, one thing I wanted to point out is that Darkwing Duck has really terrible, uh, spawn, uh, respawning issues, so... As you can see, this guy is just gonna trigger over and over, so if you're having trouble with, say, the guy up top, and you move the screen too far over, you end up having to deal with both enemies like this. Um, and uh, so it can be a little tricky to, to work with. Just like so. Now, the benefit to this is that you can actually grind out on enemies for, say, health, but he doesn't seem to be dropping a whole lot right here. There we go, got a little bit of health. But yeah, extra life central right here. And uh, so what we can do is we can just press down and jump to uh, latch down below, just like so. And, um, and I don't think there's really anything here. I thought there was a bonus stage in this area, but I, uh, wasn't able to find it on my practice session. And, uh, yeah, I don't- it's not here. It's okay, but we got a couple extra lives, which is always fun. So, I don't really need the extra lives in this game, because I get so many. We have- we're- <laughs> we're only on the third level, we've got 12 lives already. Uh, on my last practice run of the game, I actually ended up having 20-something lives by the end of the game, so... Yeah, Darkwing Duck's not really a super challenging game, at least in terms of, you know, how often it dishes out one-ups for you. Now, it can be a hard game if you're not used to it because of the sort of stiff mechanics compared to a, uh, a traditional Mega Man game. Um, that actually takes quite a while to get used to, and Darkwing Duck also doesn't have nearly as many invincibility frames as Mega Man does. So, um, I'd like to, uh, try to demonstrate it later on, but Darkwing Duck can just take rapid hits back to back. And, uh, that can be a little aggravating to deal with. So one, two, three. Look at how fast, uh, he takes hits in this game. Uh, so now I have to actually be careful. And, uh, oh, look at that! That was convenient! Thanks, Croc! Uh, so I got, uh, you know, those med kits are basically full refills of your health in this, so that was convenient. I was able to show off, uh, Darkwing's lack of iframes. Uh, these little kangaroos, they have a tendency of jumping when you shoot, so it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like Crash Man or Clash Man and Mega Man 2, um, where, uh, you know, every time you fire, he jumps. And it's kind of the same way with these kangaroos, so let's go ahead and grab onto that. And so for these guys, I'll, I'll typically just mash the fire button. Look at that, there's our bonus stage. Uh, I'm not gonna actually grab it, because I've already demonstrated both types of bonus stages in this game. And, um... And so yeah, we're gonna actually save our time instead of going to that bonus stage. Because remember, when you go to the bonus stages, you get shot all the way back to your most recent checkpoint. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not too worried about showing off the rest. I just want to show off where they are. And I'm not 100% on where all the bonus stages are, but what I can say is that... Every level in the game has, I think, I want to say every level in the game, but it seems like every level in the game has at least one or two. Uh, at least one for sure, there's absolutely one per stage, but a lot of levels actually have two. Uh, so, if you're the kind of person that's a completionist and you want to find everything, then, uh, yeah, you do want to search out for, uh, all the bonus stages that you can. And there should be at least two in many of the stages. They, there might be two in all the stages and I just haven't found them. So this guy isn't too bad to deal with, you need to wait for him to uh, come up out of the water just like so, and he kind of shoots out these little, you know, water fish. And, um, what I like to do is actually just use my arrow gas, uh, because the arrow gas just does so much damage. And, uh, come on dude, there you go. Just like that, very nice. So, yeah, the arrow gas is so powerful in this, uh, you know, it might take like 20 shots or more to kill that guy with my regular gun. It'll take like six or seven with the arrow shot or the arrow gas. So, yeah, the arrow gas is extremely powerful, and there's another extra life. And uh, all right, set it, second set of stages. I always start from left to right just because you know I'm a simpleton like that. And uh, so this is actually probably one of the more challenging levels in terms of uh, you know the enemies. You've got these plants here that shoot really fast. You need to be prepared for them, and you need to uh, jump right away. So I'm just gonna wait for it. Okay, we're just gonna skip it then, and uh, try to just jump over these uh, dogs in the dog houses. Uh, they run really fast at you, but again, you want to just time your shot um, so you don't miss them. Um, that's the way of being the most effective with your shots in this game. Is just just time it. And you've got these owls that just uh, or these birds that like not, not really owls, but these birds that like to uh, you know dive bomb you. And, um, so they only take two hits, a one, two, just like that, one, two, just like that, and then you got more of these plants right here. 
tree plants. I don't know what you would call them. But uh, they shoot their uh, their buds at you extremely, extremely quickly, just like so. Alright, good stuff. I haven't gotten hit by them yet, which is nice, actually. The last time I played this, I just got wrecked by them over and over. Because they shoot really fast. And that could be a little tricky to deal with. And I'm not using my own advice right here. I'm not timing my shots appropriately. So I'm not killing these birds as fast as I uh, normally should be able to. But uh, there's actually going to be a secret area coming on up here, uh, which is going to actually send us all the way back to the very beginning of this waterfall section. So that wa the, the beginning of the big waterfall is actually your checkpoint. Um, your first checkpoint for this level. I think there's only one checkpoint in this level. Um, but what I'm going to do is actually come on over here. You want to actually jump over these, uh, these waterfalls uh, because you will fall through just like that. But I'm going to come back and I've got 60 arrow gas. And so, you know, if you pick up an arrow gas weapon, or, or a gas weapon of the same kind, you'll actually get uh, some gas back for it. Notice that I can't walk through here uh, on this waterfall, uh, but you actually can. If you come down here to the bottom and then jump, there's a secret area right here which takes you to uh, another bonus stage. So there's an extra life, bonus stage up there, and uh, again, we're not going to go to it. So we're just going to try to work our way back, assuming the game lets us, just like so. And there are actually a couple of goodies right here. Ooh, I missed it, actually. Yep, I missed it. So if you actually jump over that waterfall, uh, there's actually a couple of goodies there. Uh, hiding behind the leftmost waterfall. Uh, so these little uh, armored guys, uh, they've got little little mice inside of them. You need to hit them in the head to kill them. And uh, I'm just going to let these, uh, these bloated birds uh, fly away. And... Uh, yeah, these guys are actually really dangerous, so if you shoot them, they just go crazy. <laughs> so it's better to honestly just avoid them, just jump right over them. And uh, this is going to take us to our, our boss fight, so we're at our boss. And again, I'm going to use uh, my arrow gas here, and just try to do maximum damage. Now these guys can actually be blocked, they throw their, their little projectiles at you. And uh, here we go, it's two shots, that's good. Now, their, uh, their angles for their shots are actually pretty limited. They seem to only be able to really go at, you know, maybe maybe eight different directions, maybe four. Um, not four, but definitely eight at the, I'd say, at the max. Um, they have a tendency of shooting at 45 degree angles. Well, I guess they, yeah, it looks like it's eight directions. And this is a really pathetic fight. I don't know, this this fight always throws me off for some reason, especially when I'm recording these when I'm tired, or playing this game when I'm tired. But yeah, it's not a particularly difficult fight. You just, you know, you just have to, you just have to shoot. <laughs> shoot at the right time. Um, the problem with using the arrow shot on him is he does bounce up and down, um, and so you only have one chance with the arrow shot. You can only have one arrow on screen at once, I believe, so... Uh, so, your regular shot is actually probably more beneficial in that fight, and it might even be more beneficial to switch over to a different sub-weapon, like Thunder Gas. Um, but again, I like to just hold on to the Arrow Gas for the entire playthrough. But yeah, another bonus stage coming up here. Um, and I've got 41 Gas Energy. Um, I'm gonna actually play out this bonus stage because it's right at the very beginning of the level, so we don't have to... We don't lose much progress here, and I can actually come out of this with probably full gas energy. Um, usually these things drop a lot of gas energy. So there's more. They have 43. Don't need that health. And you don't actually get any extra bonus points or anything like that for, uh, you know, picking up health pickups. There we go. That's a big gas canister. It looks like the big gas canisters give you 10. The little ones only give you 1. So I definitely want the big canisters, just like so. And there we go. So we actually got a lot of gas energy back. We're probably up to like 70, 76. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I am going to definitely be using my arrows uh, partway through this level. I think there might be a secret or two I can get uh, on this level by using it. So, But okay, yeah, that bonus stage was definitely worth playing out, for sure. And there's a uh, heavy gas again, don't really want it. And uh, so I'm just gonna jump over here, grab onto these uh, lamp posts or these lanterns, just like so. And then wait for this platform to come down. Now, some platforms you cannot grab onto the bottom of, that's one of them. And we've got these little, uh, these little lamps here, these sort of genie lamps, and you just wanna duck right in front of them and then shoot them. If you try to shoot them from a distance, 
um, your shots will actually reflect off of them. And these little cats are probably some of the more, more annoying enemies in the game. I like to just use my arrow gas on them. But notice how my shot's reflecting? So I have to get close. Wait for them to come out. And you really want to be quick to the draw uh, on these guys because... Uh, yeah, what ends up happening is uh, they come out, they shoot their projectiles just like so. And they can be tricky to deal with. I'm gonna actually come here, grab this uh, this gas, and I'm gonna switch back over to my arrow gas because I need to shoot it right here to jump on that, just like so. But yeah, these little cats you can actually take out in one hit with uh, arrow gas. And these, uh... Maybe this is a museum or something? I'm trying to think of, of, of what it actually is. I'm wondering why there are genie lamps and, uh... Magic carpet guys on this level. It just seems kind of out of place. It's got to be a museum of some kind um, I know that it describes what the level is when you go into it But I wasn't really paying attention so I don't usually pay attention to that kind of stuff when I'm playing old NES games like this um, So but all right got another one up we have 16 lives <laughs> Oh man yeah, so I mean, as far as survival is concerned, Darkwing Duck is probably one of the easier Capcom, uh, you know, Capcom Disney games. Um, in, in terms of, uh, you know, all the extra lives it gives you and things like that. But, I would say it actually is a little bit harder to get into compared to some of the other Disney games. Uh, because of how stiff the game is. Um, and, uh, yeah. How kind of un-Mega Man-like it is with its, its physics and whatnot, so. Remember, every time you jump, notice that Darkwing just stops for just a, a brief moment. And so, just running and jumping really quickly um, takes some time to get used to. Alright, so this guy is actually one of the easiest boss fights in the game. Um, to a degree. At least, he's one of the easiest to hit consistently. Because he's just so slow. He's just lumbering. He's just easily the slowest boss in the game. And he's actually jumping all the way up top, which uh, he it doesn't usually do for me. But when he's on the ground or he's on the middle floor, he's just so easy to hit. And again, I'm just using my arrow gas. You know, I could do these fights without using the special weapon, but they basically take two or three times as long. Um, so... Now, the biggest thing you have to worry about about that guy's boss fight is he does shoot these uh, sparks up into the air. And when, they, when that happens, they usually come down right on top of you. So you just need to keep moving left or right to avoid them. It's not really too difficult to deal with. So, okay. Uh, this is our last uh, of the uh, second set of levels. And you've got these, uh, these kangaroos that throw basketballs at you. And uh, you can actually uh, block their shots. So... You know, a lot of enemies in this game, it's just, you know, you just wait, you wait and then you shoot, you wait and then you shoot, kind of like this. Not very difficult to deal with, uh, as long as you're patient. Um, if you're not patient, then, uh, it's probably pretty difficult to deal with, but I recommend being patient in this game. No reason not to, honestly, and these dogs actually have a lot of hit points, so, I'm just, well, I was gonna say I'm just gonna skip them, but, uh, I failed. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just use this, and then use that again. So, two shots. One, two, just like so. There should be some health up this way. Yeah, right here, so. Yeah, I, I think this is uh, one of the easier Disney, uh, sorry, Capcom Disney games, uh, but it's one of the harder ones, I think, to get adjusted to because of its stiffness, so. Uh, it's still very easy to take hits, even, you know, when I'm, you know, half decent at the game. And that was a mistake. <laughs> I'm just goofing off there. I was trying to see if I could, uh, you know, shoot a second one, then latch on to the second one, and it looks like you can't. So, the second one refused to latch on. Um, so, you know, you live and you learn, so... For science. But we're just gonna blitz right through this. We're just gonna... Skip the dog, skip the dog, skip the dog. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, Darkwing uh, latching on to these, uh, these, this grating is, uh... It's a little inconsistent. Notice that sometimes he latches onto it low, other times he latches onto it high. Uh, it doesn't really... it's not super consistent. And again, we're just gonna skip through that, and I did the exact same again, same thing again. I tried jumping uh, through it, but it doesn't really work that way, unfortunately. There's gonna be one up, uh, an extra life up here. And uh, just shoot the kangaroo dude, just like that. And we're gonna grab onto it. Ooh, we missed that chain. Okay. Helps if we can uh, grab onto that switch a little more to the right. And I'm gonna actually come down here because this guy is kind of annoying. And I died again! Wow, this is pretty pathetic. Um, this is actually very pathetic. You are a pathetic person, Austin. You can't 
play an NES game well. You're an awful person. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just berating myself for sucking at something that doesn't... That ultimately doesn't matter in life. Video games. Video games are fun, you know? You don't have to be good at video games. And the same thing happened again. Notice how I just clipped right through it. So that's... I'm gonna call that a, ga a game glitch. Uh, lack of polish, basically. Um, so... Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. I'm gonna go up uh, the right-hand side this time. Uh, because this platform uh, comes on over to the right, and as you as you noticed before, and the seriously again, I clipped. If you, if you touch the side of it, uh, you actually won't go through it, and and then Darkwing won't actually latch onto it. And I was holding up there by accident as well, um, which is actually frustrating. It seems like if you hold up by accident, uh, sometimes Darkwing doesn't want to latch on the objects above him. So, and uh, I'm going to actually use my arrow gas here because this dog is kind of annoying. And, uh, the Aerogast does a lot of damage, as you guys have witnessed already. Now, the reason I was trying to come back down here and kill this guy earlier is that, uh, he can actually shoot his, uh, basketballs, uh, through the wall. And we have two guys to deal with right here. And so when you're on the ground floor trying to deal with that guy in the, on the bottom, um, you've still got to worry about the guy uh, on the other side of the wall shooting at you. I actually had that happen in my, one of my practice sessions. So, yeah, you do have to watch out for that. And let's just come on up here like so. Grab on the knees. And I'd like to get over to the right-hand side and try to shoot this guy, but I sort of failed and got hit. Seriously, dude. Okay, this game is just really just like... Uh, throwing me under the bus right now for really dumb reasons. Um, and that's actually one of the frustrating things about Darkwing Duck 2. Like, you guys see me doing this right now. Uh, all this stuff is going to be happening a lot more often when you first try to learn the game. But patience is absolutely key in this game. Uh, if you're trying to get through it, say, without dying, or, you know, you want to try to do it while dying, uh, minimally, not dying that much. So I'm just going to jump over this guy, just like so, just to skip through him or skip past him. Same with this guy right here. Or just he sneezes, his shell comes off, and then you can just jump over. Uh, it's a tight jump, don't get me wrong. It can be a little tricky, um, but you can do it. So this is one of the parts where you pretty much have to use arrow gas. And now one thing I wanted to note is that uh, the screen will not scroll back down, as you guys witnessed uh, a couple of moments ago when I died. So originally when I played this, I thought I had to go up to the top lamp and then uh, fall down into it, and I missed it, and I died because the screen does not scroll down. So I'm gonna let him uh, sneeze just like seriously. I still got hit by that by the way the hitboxes in this game are, are trash, too uh, The hitboxes are actually very bad. So whereas you could uh, probably jump over something in a Mega Man game um, Because the hitboxes are pretty good for the most part um, in Darkwing Duck uh, You don't have that luxury a lot of times So, you know, I'd imagine doing a speedrun on this game is actually pretty tricky trying to just jump over enemies and whatnot the uh, precision required uh, to do something in Darkwing Duck that you could do in a Mega Man game is much greater. Alright, so the trick to this boss is to break his, uh, his little flamethrower things, um, by shooting them where the lights are, and then you can just pummel him, just like so, with your arrow gas. And, uh, he's dead. So that was, what, probably six or seven shots? I wasn't really counting, but it's not that many, so... Yeah, I like to just do the rightmost one, and then he just goes right up to it, and then I can just shoot him as he's trying to fix it. So, not a terribly difficult fight, but you do have to watch out for the fireballs that come out. Um, those can be a little tricky to deal with. So, final stage in the game, guys. Um, so, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, I know of one bonus stage here. I don't know if there's a second one, but I know of at least one on this one. And uh, I'll show you guys where that is. It's at the very end of this first stretch, but I'm not going to access it because, again, it just throws us uh, right back to the very beginning here. And, uh, so these guys on top of these, uh, these cannons, they just shoot cannonballs, and, uh, you can block the cannonballs, actually. So... And there we go. Yeah, very end of the game, not a very long stage. Uh, yeah, it's actually, might actually be one of the shorter stages in the game, to be honest with you. I don't think there's a, a lot to it. There are some, uh, tough enemies here, though, that you have to watch out for. And, uh, I'll show you guys what I mean once, uh, we get to them. All right, and jump over that. Don't want that heavy gas. I really want the arrow gas for the rest of the level. But again, look at these. Uh, look at these respawns. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> That's another frustrating aspect of Darkwing Duck. You just kind of learn to accept it. <laughs> you learn to get used to it. 
Um, so yeah. And just remember, like, if you killed an enemy and that enemy was on the cusp of the edge of the screen, then, uh, um... Yeah, you've gotta, you gotta remember that he's gonna respawn. And so there we go, that's the other bonus stage, don't really need it. And, uh, what we don't wanna do is press down here by accident, because you will fall to your death, which I've actually done before. And these guys can only be hit from behind. Uh, sometimes this guy likes to despawn just like that. He's one of the few enemies in the game that'll actually despawn. Uh, which is actually very handy, because they do move very quickly. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, hit that switch to bring this platform out. And, uh, should follow my own advice here, not actually shoot those guys, but this is a, a tighter stage than the, the level they originally appeared on, which is the jungle level. And I'm just gonna fall straight down like that. Or fall over. There we go, there's another bonus stage. Uh, I, I thought there was a second one on this level, uh, and what I could have done is actually access that, because that, uh, where we just landed, is the checkpoint. So these guys right here, uh, you shoot them a couple times, and they turn into, uh, these robots, and what I prefer to do is just not kill them. Uh, I will shoot them so they stop doing their projectiles, and got hurt by those dogs, not a big deal. So I'll shoot them enough to, uh, turn them into robot form, and then, uh, basically just jump over them like so. They have a third phase that you guys will see at the very end, where they turn into these uh, sort of baby-looking ducks, and um, they just bounce all over the uh, the arena uh, like crazy. Uh, fortunately, they only take one hit when they go into that form, as you'll see coming up here in just a moment. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I find it easiest to just do this, jump over them, just like that, and then, uh, yeah, just take it really easy with those guys if you don't want to lose much health. And, uh... Go ahead and grab that gas. We're going to need it for the boss fight. Full health. And then I'm going to jump over here, just like so. And then uh, just let him fall down there. Going to be a couple more of those guys up here, so same deal. Just let them turn into uh, the robots so they start walking. And this is pretty much the last stretch. We're going to be at the final boss in just a moment. So, And there's another one. Uh, I can try to use arrow gas if I want to. Okay, so I didn't actually get to show the baby duck. <laughs> Alright, so, a uh, little tricky section right here. I'm gonna try to get these guys over like so, and then I'm gonna try to jump up here and fail miserably. Yeah, so these guys can actually gang up on you, and because of the very small amount of invincibility frames that you have, um, this first part of this fight can actually be uh, quite tricky to deal with. Uh, so, again, you really wanna just get up top here and fail, just like that. Yeah, not the smoothest run in, uh, in in my Let's Play history, which is unfortunate, actually. Um, I'm actually tempted to just restart the playthrough and try to do better. But, I mean, we've, we've explained things pretty well. That's kind of the point of these playthroughs, but I like playing better on my Let's Plays. Um, and, uh, so here we go. Yeah, we died. That's three or four times already on this boss, so... So let's try to... There we go. Okay, now we're in good shape. So, yeah, ideally you want to just get up on this left uh, hook, just like so, and just shoot them as they come down. And uh, doing that is actually easier said than done. You'll notice that there's also a full med kit up top, um, but we're not going to need that. We're just going to use our arrow gas here, which takes this guy out in just a couple of hits. And that is Darkwing Duck. And unfortunately, I wanted to pause it before I beat him to see how many lives I still had left over, but we probably had... You know, even with those deaths, we probably still had 15 lives left over, so... Um... And, uh, yeah, so... Uh, that's pretty much Darkwing Duck on the NES, guys. Uh... It's a fun game. I do like Darkwing Duck... You know, a, a decent bit. I, I don't think it really, uh, you know, compares or... I don't think it's very competitive with the NES games in terms of the overall quality. I think the Mega Man games are uh, much better made. Uh, they're a lot more fun, there's a lot more content for each game that you play. Um, but Darkwing Duck is still a fun game. It's a really solid, you know, solid looking game. It's got some great music. Uh, the gameplay is enjoyable when you get the hang of its stiffness and you get into a rhythm with it. Um, and so yeah, if you haven't played this game before and you like NES games a lot, I do recommend checking it out. Uh, it is a fun game. Um, interestingly, uh, this ending theme here, uh, I looked on the cutting room floor before doing this video, and, uh, apparently the ending theme actually only plays for about 30 seconds, uh, even though it's about a minute long, so half of the ending music is actually cut out, uh, so if you want to hear what that's like, you can go to the cutting room floor and check that out, it's pretty cool. Also, apparently this game was not released in Japan, I did not know that, so this is a, uh, a very high quality Capcom release that, uh, 
only saw a Western release, which is also quite interesting. It looks like it was released um, in uh, uh, mid-1992 for North America, and then um, it was released very, very late 1993, almost 1994 in Europe. So, interesting stuff, but yeah. Uh, good game overall. Check it out if you've never played it. And uh, for those of you guys that uh, are new to the game or are struggling with the game, hopefully this Let's Play helped you out with some... Uh, tips and strategies and whatnot and uh so yeah that's gonna do it for me guys so uh thank you guys for watching if you're new to my channel uh click that subscribe button if you like let's plays like this i've got uh let's plays coming every uh every other week to every week uh depending on how quickly i can get them out and um yeah, so lots of Let's Plays here. Feel free to pop in on Thursday nights as well where I do live streams of classic games. And um, yeah, to everyone else, thank you uh, for your continued support. Thanks for watching. Feel free to give the video a thumbs up or thumbs down depending on how you felt. And uh, until the next one, take it easy.